DMC DM4, or as it was known in Quake, The Bad Place. Uh, this is my favorite Quake Deathmatch map, one of my favorite maps of all time, done by that there American McGee. Uh, he did this in a day, and he apparently didn't test it at all until he was actually done making it, which is impressive. Uh, he said that he was, uh, he took inspiration from the concept of having something very minimalist in design, but there's, like, a lot of different ways, like, you know, it's very interesting regardless of that, and he likes that it's really compact. Um, you know, even with eight, I, I play this, I'd say go to eight with eight people, but even with, like, one or two people... Or like get or even with like two to four people, this map is insane. It, it is the perfect embodiment of like what I like. It just stupid, just mayhem, just incredible mischief in deathmatch games. I love it. It's good. Hopefully this time the game doesn't get cursed out and thinks it's a single player only game. If you saw the freaking like DM three video, Jesus. So you're gonna see the whole shtick about this map is that there's it's a it's a main room with three levels with a bunch of side rooms that are either connected to each other through teleporters, physically connected or just not connect connected at all. And like you can see, there's just a ton of weapon. Every weapon type is available in the game, and a bunch of like uh, you know quad damage and power ups and stuff like that. So yeah, you're gonna see why it's insane. We're gonna start with this room here because this is the only room that doesn't really connect to another one. Uh, there is a mega health here. Which also is a bad thing, because people are going to be firing at you almost immediately. Uh, as you can see, Parabot doesn't quite understand how lava works, I guess. Yeah, um, there's also a rocket launcher here, so yeah, even more incentive to just shoot over there. Um, besides that, if you come this way, you can start here. Uh, you can also grab a smot, like a nail launcher, but who cares about that? You can take a teleporter, and this is how you can get up to, like, the next level. Or the top level, I should say. Um, without, the only way to do so, if you start there without the rocket launcher, I might add. So you got some options at the center part here. You grab the lightning gun, which is super helpful, of course. You can also grab the grenade launcher. Um, and if you really want, you can actually totally jump this way and make it over and grab the quad damage. You can even jump from here, up and back. So there's a lot of ways to get to that quad damage, but you gotta be really careful. So let's check out some of the side rooms really here, quick. You got this, like, the super shotgun here and a bunch of items. Fun time. Come up this way and there's a, a teleporter. And this is where we teleported in a moment ago. And as you can see, it is two, uh, both ways. Uh, you can go back and forth so you know all, at all times how to get back and forth. So that's good. Um, if you come this way, there's this room here. Which is the room I just showed you, so never mind. I completely forgot about that. Get out of the way, Scout! And if you come- oh no, that was a demo man. I apologize, demo man. Come this way, and there's another teleporter with some health here. Grab it. And it brings you over to this little room here, which you can get to the, um... Other room, back to the other rooms through another teleporter. This is the only area that, like, you know, it's connected to other rooms, but it's actually off to its side. It's not actually a physical location you can reach. And if you do that, you take that, you get teleported back here. And obviously I just killed someone, I think, by, like, telefragging them. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, that's cool. That's real great stuff. Come back this way, and then, again, I keep doing that! My argument is I'm being really fucking distracted by the guys dying in lava because they're idiots. Also, I'm still frustrated from, like, the previous thing, and never mind, I lied. I always think that this room isn't connected for some reason, but it is. Again, blame the screaming and me being frustrated by the DM3 video I just recorded. That ate up, like, ten minutes of my time dealing with that. I didn't need that. And yeah, that's the bad place. I know this video sucked, my narration sucked. But yeah, the, like, it's very small, but as you can see right away, the opportunities for mischief are just uh, in the roof, soaring like an eagle, and like, it's great. I love it. Play this map. Um, uh, maybe not with a, a bunch of people, because I had 30, I tested this map with 32 parabots, and they all, like, just kept spawn, telefragging each other right as they spawned in. It was great. It was violent and bloody, but, you know, that's not really conducive to having a good time. All right, so I'm gonna set, the, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm still paranoid from DM, the DM3 video. I'm setting the time limit, okay? We're gonna be very careful. I'm gonna see if this is what caused it last time. So if we're going to DM4. No, okay. I don't know what the hell happened, but hopefully that doesn't happen again because that was horrendously annoying. Yeah, obviously you want to be very careful if you're going through this quad damage in the middle of an active server because you bet your ass people are gonna start aiming towards you because they you know they're afraid of you. You know, that's typically how that goes when you see someone with the quad damage in one of these games. Oh, it's so good though. Oh, what was that? Oh, I goofed it, I goofed it, but we, re we recovered. We're all good. All good. That's how you save yourself. I don't want to use your crappy ass. Oh, that's all I have. 
I don't actually hate the nail gun by any means, because I use it quite a bit in the single player, like, you know, for sniping. You know, especially when I'm trying to save on some ammo. Again, a really bad place to start spawning, but look at this. Take advantage of the situation! Turn weakness into strength, my child! But yeah, just in deathmatch, like, the regular deathmatch play, nail gun just not qu doesn't quite have the mustard. It is not like the shotgun, which is also kind of weak, but you always kind of start with it, so you kind of got to get used to it. There's never a good point to use the, uh, like, nail gun, in my opinion, I swear. Oh yeah, that was a bad idea getting my attention, my friend. Oh! Oh! My wrath is insufferable right now! Oh, suffer! 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 Oh! Ah! Oh god, why? What are you doing, civilian? Just admire- uh, Never mind. Stop spawning me here! This is always a terrible spot to spawn in. I guess I am aware technically we're playing with 10 people because I have actually 11, I think. I don't know. I think I set it to 10. Probably meant to send it to 11 because I, I had the 10 different uh, classes in Team Fortress spawn in, plus me. So it should be 11, but it's 10 right now. I don't think I've seen the heavy weapons guy at all. So yeah, I guess he's not here at the moment. Uh, we'll just keep going with 10. So I was just saying that because technically I said eight people, but we're playing with 10. You know what I mean. That's that's negligible. That's not really going to make a difference. Not even in a small map like this. Well, this map is always crazy, as I've said. So, yeah, there you go. Bad choice, my friend. He just got yeeted out of existence. Oh, you want some of this, too? Oh, I get it. Everyone's getting this business. It's great. Quad damage lightning gun is one of the most satisfying things in history. Like, look at the sheer chaos. I mean, it's only possible, really on a map like this, because if the map's too big, you just can't find people consistently enough. But yeah, I'm like a hot knife through, like, through super- I'm a mega knife, actually. Let's screw that. I'm a mega knife through decaying butter. I don't know what this metaphor joke thing was, 